that's an excellent question. Of course, we want, you know, as, as providers, we want the mortality to really uh, be no different. Uh, I was going to say zero, but you can, but but of course that doesn't make sense, right? Because we're we're all prone to mortality um, at 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 some point, um, and really it's a question of we want the mortality in patients with vasculitis to be no different uh, than that in patients who don't have vasculitis, because. Of course, we all know that 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 we all have have an end uh, to our lifespan, but we want the lifespan of people with vasculitis to be no different than the general population. Now, in some forms of vasculitis, um, that is true. So, for example, in people with giant cell arteritis in general, um, their survival, meaning their lifespan, is about the same as in people uh, who don't have giant cell arteritis. There are a few individuals with giant cell arteritis who may have a shortened lifespan, and that is related to the development of aortic aneurysm. But if we can screen for aneurysm, then we can uh, intervene or, or fix that before it affects people's lifespan. Now in ankyovasculitis, um, it's different. So in ankyovasculitis up until maybe 30 years ago or so, we know that if without appropriate treatment, then um, 80, 90% of patients with ankyovasculitis um, may lose their life within the span of two years. That's, that's, in the, that's in the era where there was no effective treatment uh, or if the vasculitis is not treated. So if the vasculitis is not treated with ankyovasculitis, then there is a very, very high mortality. But in the current era, with the appropriate use of uh, treatments, then the mortality is way, way lower. Now, it's very variable because it depends on the particular study. It depends on the severity of the vasculitis. And so... It, different studies quote different uh, numbers, but it is now, um, you know, on the order of somewhere between five and 20%. Um, and again, we only see that really in the, in, in people who have the, the, the most, the most severe forms of vasculitis, often in intensive care unit and so forth. So we have made a tremendous, tremendous improvement on the survival uh, of patients with all forms of vasculitis.